It has been a while since I've done an electronic rendezvous. Uh, I am actually here for the first time greeting you at the Love and Beauty Bungalow here in Venice Beach, California. And I am going to segue from the series that I began about 11 days ago, and that is uh, letting go of insecurity. Um, it's a letting go of insecurity series, and uh, if you check that playlist, you'll know what this is all about. But I was really inspired to create this electronic rendezvous uh, based on a Instagram photo that my beloved's 13-year-old daughter uh, sent this morning or posted this morning. And I'll read it. It says, "How to be happy? Decide every morning that you're in a good mood." Uh, and I just just loved, love, love, love that. And um, I have the saying of creating a masterpiece of every day. Like if your life is artwork, the goal is to make every day a masterpiece. Every birthday is a new volume. Every day is another chapter in that volume of masterpieces. So, um, so I wanted to create a a rendezvous based around how I start my day as a holistic beauty advisor like what do I do the first thing that I you know what do I consume um, from the time I wake up so I wanted to just share that with you and another thing that I'm really committed to is uh, inspired by a quote that I just recently also saw on Instagram from my friend Romo Style and it's from Audrey Hepburn she says that the prettiest girls are happy. No, the happiest girls. Oh my God, how does it go? I forgot the quote that quickly. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm going to pause and I'm going to check what the quote is just so I get it right. But the essence is basically what I said, but I want to give it to you really exactly the way it is written. And I'm a Virgo. That's, that's my thing. So I'll be right back. I'm going to check. Okay, I got it. Happy girls are the prettiest girls. So I am really taking that on as one of my most powerful beauty regimens, just to have a goal of just being happy. Whatever that includes, whatever that, whatever makes that happen, that's the goal. So the first thing that I do when I wake up in the morning is I just kind of do my deep breathing and I just give thanks. Like every time I wake up my open my eyes I just think thank you for another day um, and I really normally I wake up at like four in the morning but because I am now living with my beloved and he likes to sleep till eight or nine kind of split the difference that I've been waking up but anywhere between 6 30 and 7 30 so normally my my old regimen is that I would wake up at four in the morning and just kind of be in the state of uh, meditation and reflection for a good couple of hours and then I would study. So uh, so that's really how I begin the day. And uh, the first thing that I put in my body when I wake up is uh, the most powerful, purest source of water available. And when you start your day with a glass of water, it really um, creates a metabolism that is heightened. So um, it's just the best way to begin your day. And really, once you've retired for the evening and you sleep through the night, you're really fasting. So by the time you get to breakfast, breaking the fast, um, you're easing out of that. So for me, the very first thing I put in my mouth or consume is breath, oxygen, and then second second water which is liquid oxygen so um, to show you this so I actually create what I call my love water I uh, have fresh spring water and add a rose quartz crystal to it to just kind of elevate or amplify the energy of the water so I'm drinking love water so uh, I drink the largest glass of water first thing And uh, <laughs> shortly after that, oh, Charlie Horse, ouch. Do you ever get Charlie Horses? In fact, 
whenever you get a trolley horse, it probably means that you're dehydrated. So isn't that the perfect time that I would get a trolley horse when I'm talking about being hydrated? So you teach what you need to learn, right? So this is something uh, I do after I ingest my water. Um, and that is my superhero water. So when I'm working on sets as a makeup artist, I actually carry this in my makeup kit. And it's green. Chlorophyll is like having the power of sunshine in your body. And chlorophyll is actually the green that you see in your lettuce and vegetables. And it's created by a process uh, of the sun, and that's photosynthesis. So the chlorophyll actually uh, is like giving your cells, the cells in your body, mouth-to-mouth -mouth resuscitation. And you will pretty quickly feel... Uh, energized after uh, drinking this. So take a look at how this looks with the water. So, so yes, it's a really rich green. It's like uh, emerald green. And so uh, I love these little shot glasses. So I would do like a shot of this. And be really careful because uh, chlorophyll is so heavily pigmented that it will stain um, anything that it's dropped on. And uh, and I just get this from uh, Whole Foods. I don't want to give them uh, adver advertisement, but that's where I got this. And um, you can go to any pretty much health food store and buy liquid chlorophyll. And I find that the liquid chlorophyll probably uh, is the best option because your body will absorb it a lot faster. And also, this is what I do when I'm actually going to go out during the day. I have a glass bottle, which is important because it's not going to leach the chemical uh, substances from the plastic bottle. Uh, but I just, you know, just like the, the uh, drink that I just made, I just created and put it in this bottle and so when I'm out and about I will drink this. Um, the next thing that I do is because I'm really committed to feeling good and happiness I am today going to drink St. John's Wort tea and St. John's Wort is uh, known and used as an antidepressant and it really gives you a great sense of well-being. So that's the tea that I'm going to be drinking today. And I'm going to show you how, to, how I make teas. Um, it's a little bit different than most people make tea. Um, so, these, this is the way that it looks. I buy the bulk herb of John's Wort. St. John's Ward, and uh, I'm going to use a, uh, a tea ball diffuser and just uh, put about a teaspoon amount, and you can actually use a measuring spoon for that, but I can kind of guesstimate. So this is about one teaspoon of the herb, and I'm going to put that in my cup, and it has like a little hook that you can hook onto the side. And this is very important, so pay attention. I'm going to go over here to my, my little electronic teapot. So this is really important. This is something I'm really a stickler for because there are vital... Um, volatile oils in the herbs, I make sure not to cook the herbs. Because if you cook the herbs, i.e. if you heat it above 118 degrees, the volatile oils, i.e. the life force, the blood of the herb will be destroyed. I mean, just think about yourself. Think about the fact that, oh, see, I have to turn it off. I got distracted. I have complete ADD. But let me just explain this to you. So just think about yourself. If you're in an environment where it's over 118 degrees, can you imagine how dangerous that is for you? We're living organisms. The herbs are living. Um, the, the, the vegetables and fruits that we eat are, are all living. And that's part of why people uh, are call themselves raw foodists or on a raw food lifestyle because they want to ingest food that actually has a living volatile essence inside of it. So for that reason, whenever I 
heat up my water for the tea, I make sure to not heat it above how hot my finger can stand. Because if it's hotter than my finger, more than likely I'm going to be destroying the volatile oils in the tea. So, I'm going to heat up the water. Stand here, and this this uh, teapot heats so fast that I literally just stand here, and probably in about thirty seconds, thirty seconds will be hot. So, I mean, if you if you're someone that likes to to drink tea, um, I would begin to really study uh, different herbs and see what kind of qualities and properties and benefits that it has. And you're not only limited to the box of tea that you get at the grocery store, you can make your own concoction. So already the water is getting really, really warm, so I'm going to turn it off. <laughs> it was burning my, starting to burn my finger. Yep, here we go. So there we have it. So now I have my St. John's wort herb steeping in the below 118 degree water and I'll just let this sit for maybe five minutes or so um, and yes it will you know it won't be t piping hot but you will have all of the volatile essence uh, at your disposal to inject you with the properties of the particular herb. So thank you for watching. I wish you an amazingly beautiful masterpiece of a day and I will see you very soon. Take care. Love you.